Hi guys, welcome back to A Little About LV. Today we are gonna be hanging out in my living room and I'm going to show you how I transitioned my regular farmhouse living room decor into spring farmhouse. I know you've all been waiting on another decor video, but honestly, I loved my last decor so much that I didn't wanna to touch it and we haven't had any like true holidays that came up that I could easily transition. So while looking at Pinterest and a lot of Instagram pages, I came up with a few ideas of how I wanted to transition my farmhouse decor into still a farmhouse look, but a lot more springy, just to liven it up a little bit. Today I'm gonna to be showing you all the things that I purchased to get from that look to this look. It was super easy and affordable. Basically all I did was come up with an idea, a few pops of color that I wanted. I chose the color that I wanted to go with. And then I just grabbed a few things from Michael's Target Dollar Spot, my favorite decor place and Hobby Lobby. And I used it with my old decor just to kind of combine it together and get a way more springy look. So I'm gonna let you know the prices of everything. If I can remember it, tag anything down below that I might remember. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what we're gonna do today. I hope you like this decor, so we're gonna jump right in. Everyone say hey to Anne. She's always the star of my decor videos because she follows me around everywhere. Don't you drag those toys out. All right, so here we are. Here is a quick little overview, and then I will go through, obviously, each piece on the mantle and all of the tables. Keep in mind here that my goal was subtlety and not a lot of crazy colors, so I went with the like bright green and yellow color scheme. All right, so I'm gonna start here on the entertainment center because this will kind of show you all the pieces that I purchased to theme the spring decor. Also probably a good idea to go back to my farmhouse decor video from January to see how I very subtly took a few things out and added the rest. So this galvanized tray was here. Um, it had a different little picture in there that was a darker wood. I took out a lot of the little decorative orbs that were in there to make it a little lighter. A lot of them were like a dark wood. So I took those out. I replaced the flowers that were on top because they were white and very bright, but these have like some succulents, some cotton in there, and I put a few little yellow dandelions in there to just bring that out. So I did switch out the flowers. In here, I got these little sprigs of flowers from Michaels, as did I get the little bundle there as well about five dollars i think they were so i got these little sprigs of flowers i cut them up so i could arrange them the way that i wanted i left the lighter color decorative orbs and also the little cotton in there the only other thing that i added which i'm about to show you more of is the little pastel colored yellow and green eggs which i got at target dollar spot in a big bag Moving on, if you're familiar with my videos, you know that this is my grandmother's um, little bowl that she always kept in her home, and now I have it. The eggs that I have in here, again, are from Target. They were in a big bag. There might be a few that were from Michael's, too. I got a couple bags from um, different places that I put with the candle there that was from the last video. The little cartons there for the eggs are actually what some other decorative eggs that are very colorful that I have that I did not use in this decor. They came in those and so instead of throwing them away I kept them and used them as little egg cartons here and the green and white checked dish towel I got at Hobby Lobby. And of course I left the little cotton ball decor that I got in a set of three from Kirkland's there. I have those all over my home. I left that in there to make it a little more country. And lastly here on the entertainment center, that little bunny rabbit there I got from my grandmother as well. That's actually like something that's very old that's been in our family. A few members of my family have those. So I'm not really sure where they got them, but it's kind of an antique at this point. Again, I just switched out the flower arrangement to make it a little more springy feeling there. And then I put a few more sprigs here just as filler and used a few more of those pastel eggs that I got from Target Dollar Spot and Michaels. From the last video, I also just left this chair the way that it was. Hi, Anne. 
I left this chair the way that it was because I still love that little vintage bicycle pillow. I did think about switching out the pillow behind there to something like maybe a yellow or um, just something to cover that pillow to make it a little more springy. But I mean, it does go with the decor. It kind of makes it um, a little darker instead of having everything bright yellow, which I'm sure my husband would not really love. So we're gonna leave it for now. And to show you guys how I transitioned my little end tables that I have here in my living room, I wanted to just again make this a little brighter. So I just took the old flowers out and put some new sprigs in. They are the same flowers and sprigs that I put on the entertainment center. So of course I'm trying to keep with the theme here, making everything very cohesive. And the only other thing that I added here was the little eggs. Again, here on this end table, I left everything almost exactly the same except for a few pastel eggs that I threw in there. And this is actually a better picture of the other side of the little flower bundles that I got from Michaels that were about five or six dollars. It has succulents in there and then of course I added the yellow flower. So that just kind of made it, you know, a little more springy, a lot lighter than the other bundle was. And lastly, I'm going to show you guys the mantle decor that I did. Always probably my favorite. Um, I told you in my last video, a couple of things that are the same from that video is this huge mirrored window pane that I got from Lowe's for only like $40, I think it was. The little stands and the buckets with the cotton in them, those are from... The last video, I left those. Again, I swapped out the flowers. There's the succulents in there with the yellow flowers. I swapped out the books there, um, made them a little lighter again. I did some light green and dark green along with tan to pull all the colors together. I left the little light up houses at both ends there that I got at Target Dollar Spot on sale around Christmas time. I turned them on for you so you can see them. The little sprigs of greenery with the tiny little yellow flowers I got from Michaels in packs. Of course, I got them on sale. I think they were like $5, something like that. And I got three or four um, and just kind of wire worked them through the whole decor just to give it a little bit of filler. Of course, I wanted to keep with the theme of the farmhouse books, the galvanized metal, and the wood. So that is what I was trying to tie in here. I did find that little chicken there. He's so cute. I got him at the Target dollar spot a few years ago. And because he's kind of patchwork, I still thought that he went with the decor. And of course, he is the right coloring. Again, there in the center, I just added an egg and some more cotton. Down here on this side, believe it or not, I got that very cute ceramic bunny rabbit with the gold ears at Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. $3, I think is all that was, and he's actually really heavy, so I just set him up on there um, and hope that he doesn't fall. But he's really cute, and he went with my theme. So again, there's the house, the galvanized bucket with the cotton and the eggs, and the only other thing that I have up here on the mantle is that little leather bound wrapped journal that I got at Earthbound when we were up in the mountains. I had planned to use that journal to actually write in, but you know, here it is completely empty in my decor, but you know, it's still got good use. One more thing just for fun that I wanted to show you guys because I always show you my foyer decor. I stayed with the same sprigs in the vases there because obviously they just kind of went with everything anyways. But I made this wreath and this was originally what was going to be up on the mantle before I found the window pane. So I got the wreath at Michael's for like $7 and I used the same sprigs that are all around the living room right now to just kind of intertwine them on one side of that wreath. 
and I really didn't have anywhere to put it and I didn't want it to get ruined like hanging outside on the front door so just kind of put it here. Y'all let me know down below how you feel about it. You think this is a good place for it. Um, I kind of think it just tied the living room in with this room. But yeah, let me know what you think because that is where I put it. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today's decor video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you loved the decor that I threw together very quickly and affordably for you. Again, I'm going to try to link anything down below that they might still have in store. I know you guys love watching decor videos, especially for spring and summer so I am definitely going to try to throw some more things together for you so that I can help you out in your home. If you have any other questions for me definitely leave some comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks again so much for watching A Little About LV.